I will be like minister shaitan or regime. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. And verily, our praise is due to Allah. We praise Him. We seek His aid and we ask for His forgiveness. We seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our own selves and from the evils of our own actions. And whomsoever Allah guides, none can misguide. And whomsoever Allah leaves astray, none can guide back to the correct path. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We testify there is no deity worthy of our worship except for Allah who is alone with no partnership and never has and never will be another. And we bear witness that Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him is the last and the final prophet of Allah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu my brothers and sisters friends and family and everybody who's joining in to the live stream jazakallahu khairan may Allah reward you with goodness. Uh, for joining for this Friday reminder on the 20th of Safar or September the 16th of 2022 CE. My name is Brother Daniel from the Northeast Chapter of Embrace. And for today's Friday reminder, I want to focus um, alongside with some of the other Friday reminders, a new mini series that I wanted to start today, which will be reviewing the many doors of Jannah as reference to in the following hadith that is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, as well as Muslim, narrated by Abu Huraira, anhu, anhu, that the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has been quoted in saying, Whoever gives a pair of anything for the sake of Allah will be called from the gate of paradise. O slave of Allah, this is good. Whoever was one of the people of prayer will be called from the gate of prayer. Whoever was one of the people of jihad will be called from the gate of jihad. Whoever was one of the people of fasting will be called from the gate of Aurayan. And whoever was one of the people of charity will be called from the gate of charity. Abu Bakr as-Sadiq said, May my father and mother be sacrificed for you, O Messenger of Allah. There is no need for anyone to be called from all of these gates, but will anyone be called from all of them? And he said, yes, I hope that you will be one of them. So for this week's reminder to start off on this list, I'd like to focus on that very first reference door, Bab al-Salat, or the gate of prayer, the gate that is accessible for those Muslims who used to offer their prayers regularly and on time. And of course, the first and foremost thing is to know and for us to recognize the importance of the salah and the consequences of missing it. The prayer, of course, is one of the five pillars of Islam, and Allah has made offering the prayers obligatory five times in a single day. And we offer these prayers as thankfulness to Allah SWT for his blessings. And these prayers are a way that we begin our day by worshiping Allah SWT, and we end our nights by remembering him as well. And if the Muslim offers the five times prayer in the masjid, then he will be habituated in offering the salah on time every single day as well, and is highly encouraged to do so. And it, it becomes the deeds that he or she builds his or her schedule and life around if they are doing these sort of regular prayers, even so that when we are engrossed in our usual routine, our jobs, our family life, our chores, and the such, we must take time out of our day to remember our creator. And the prayer is most certainly the best way for us to communicate with our Lord, to give thanks, to glorify him, and to supplicate uh, for the things of which we need. But what are some of the examples that we can be one of these sorts of people? Well, for example, when we are traveling, do we plan out stops accordingly so that we will take the prayer breaks to offer that on time? Do we manage to rest or have our playtime uh, for the means of entertainment after the call for prayer? Do we answer it when we are uh, stuck in or watching a movie or watching uh, watching the game or whatever the case may be? Do we pause what we are doing and answer the prayer as soon as possible and then return back to uh, you know, these, these, these enjoyments of, of life? Um, in the same case, do we react accordingly to the sound of the event when we are available? You know, Hayo Saleh and Hayo Fada, the literal call to the prayer and the call to success. Allah SWT is inviting us to this. Are we taking that invite seriously? 
But the case is, and many of us may fall short, but are we in the same way trying to rectify this? Are we attempting to find the ways to regulate our schedule to accommodate for these prayers? Are we making the sincere dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking him and him alone, Ya Allah, grant me this ability to uphold my obligations to make the prayers on time every day and every time that it comes, I mean. And are we seeking refuge in Allah before we are going to the Salah or before we are about to pray to him? Are we imagining ourselves standing in front of him so that we have proper khushua? And do we also take our time, you know, while we're standing in front of our Lord to pray to him? Are we giving it its rightful due? Are we beautifying our recitation? Uh, and if not, you know, what is it that is distracting us? You know, shaitan creates these sorts of disturbances uh, between us all and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the salah because this is one of the reasons why we won't be able to focus and this is one of the best times for him to come to us if his main objective is to distract and to ultimately make us fail. Um, but in the same case, it may be the dunya. Is it the life of this world that seems so eluding enough for us to want to do something else as opposed to praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But and again, how do we address this? I mean, uh, how do we make time for the creator of time? And if it is due to a busy schedule, or maybe it's due to forgetfulness, or, you know, sincere bad time management, I mean, are we, again, doing the means or adjusting our schedule in a way that makes it work? Or we could simply add the alarm feature to our prayer app so that when the time reaches us for the next prayer, we are reminded about it. And ultimately, uh, the bottom line is that there is no excuse for missing the prayers, but it is those who will offer their prayers regularly with all of the due attention and respect. They shall enter paradise through this in particular door, the Bab al Sulay, and they are the gainers of the physical and the spiritual benefits of the Sulay now, as well as the inheritors of the paradise in the hereafter. And Allah SWT mentions in Sulta Bakara, Surah 2, Ayat 277, in an English translation Indeed, those who believe and do righteous deeds and establish prayer and give zakah will have their reward with their Lord, and there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. And this is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, if we do happen to be falling short in this duty, let us make this commitment now and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us a firmness in upholding this obligation. And for those who may not even feel up to that absolute level of commitment. You know, maybe we do pray five times a day, but maybe we rush, maybe we're a little bit distracted. Sometimes we know that we can do a little bit better. Then I like to close on this hadith in regards for uh, this, uh, uh, you know, this reflection as narrated in Muslim Abu Dawood, an Nasiyah, al tadmurdi Ibn Majah, and Ahmed, narrated by Uqba Ibn Amir, that Omar Ranilahu Anhu said that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, There is no one among you who does wudu and does it well. Then says, says, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad is the slave of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his messenger. But the eight gates of paradise will be opened for him, and he may enter through whichever of them he wishes. I mean, so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us with this strong iman, taqwa, forgiveness, good manners, and good deeds accounted for on our books on the day of judgment. Allow us to uphold these prayers and be admitted through this door of paradise, if not through one of the other seven. I mean, Allahumma subhanahu wa bihamdi ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh